Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Mario Kart Tour. Today, we are hopping into the Wendy Cup, starting with Yoshi, actually, at the Rock Rock Mountain. Uh, last episode was really quick, so I'm hoping this one won't be as quick, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll sort of take our time with the tracks, of course, and have some fun, but I have already raced Rock Rock Mountain before, so I won't bother with 50cc. Uh, and this is a level two kart right there, so yeah, we'll try this. Racing as Yoshi for the first time in a while, but should be fun. I love Yoshi, it's just, he doesn't really show up too much for the top tiered characters. There's a lot of characters that don't show up for top tiered things. But it's all predetermined, right? Like every character has a set amount of char like tracks that they are top tiered with. But that might change from tour to tour. I'd imagine that it would, because why would you have a character that can, you know, raise a track, you know, very well, but then the next tour comes out, there's gonna be a bunch of new tracks where they can't race very well in, and then it's just like you never race that character, but maybe that's their plan, you know? It's our evil plan so that you have to get new characters. Anyways, I jumped over the speed booster, that is not what I wanted. This is a cool track though, and I think that hopefully with enough effort we can get past it and get a good enough score. There we go, I'm gonna dive deep and then sort of cut back up just as I normally do. It sort of worked, could have been better. I'm getting hit by a blooper too, which is not fun. Thanks, Pauline. Because I don't think we've raced a single race in this entire tour that's top tier for Pauline, which is sort of fair because you can't get her in this tour, but at the same time, it's like, what was the point of even trying to get her last tour if, if there's no purpose for this one, you know? It was for short-term gains. But hopefully that sort of, I can only imagine as time goes on, like maybe there'll be like an all-around tour where it sort of features everything. I'm not really sure how much longer I plan on playing the game, though I think that I want to try, they did confirm, and maybe I'll show that update, because I don't think I have. Um, they they post a little update saying, you know, the next tour is, it's actually, maybe I did, but it's Luigi Mansion themed, it's, it's gonna be all Halloween-like, it's like a spooky tour. Super excited for that, but I do wanna say that I, I probably will do that tour, and we'll wait to see sort of how we feel about the game at that point. If not too many people are interested, maybe I'll give it a rest there, and sort of, you know, close the book on this game, because I've been putting a lot of time to it, not sure how many people are interested. But uh, I've been having fun with it, but it can get a bit exhausting with how much you have to do in the game. And it's like, if I don't do all of it, I feel like I'm missing out, so it's like one of those things. But I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Right now I am still having fun, which is important. Watch it, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. Throw that backwards, maybe it'll hit Pauline so she doesn't pass me. I think she did pass me there, but then she got hit by the Bowser shell. The finish line is here for this version of the track, so I gotta get there. And there we go, we got the win. Over 10,000, 11,000 points. 11,465, really good score. Um, We'll see how that applies, though. I will get a decent bonus percentage, but along with it, do I get the five grand stars? I think I will. <laughs> gotta be honest, yeah. I feel like the Grand Star requirement hasn't been as crazy um, in this tour as it was in the first one. We got Chaco Island 2 as Wendy, how fitting. Um, and with this one, I think we've raced it before, right? I think so, so we'll start at 150. Yeah, this is the one that's, you know, looks like chocolate, there's piranha plants everywhere, there's a little gliding section, yeah, okay. We definitely have, so that's fine. We'll just go forward again, hope for the best. And nice start. Wendy looks pretty cool in this cart, too. It's really weird that the Koopanings really haven't been in too many Mario Kart games. I don't think they were in Mario Kart 7, right? I don't think so, but like I've said, I, I just have not played that game really much at all, so I can't say for certain. But even then, it would only be Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 8, oh no. Oh no! The risk and the reward fell apart there. That's for sure. Um, Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 8, and then this game. So hopefully, you know, they're a mainstay from here on out for the uh, Mario Kart games. And hopefully soon we get more Odyssey characters. You know, I said that up and down and to the side over and over again. Um, in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I really wanted to see them add more DLC and have it be Odyssey characters, that was cool. Um, unfortunately, they never got around to it. So they, they have to make up for it now, you know? That would be cool. Anyways, can we catch up here? That's the big question. Oh no, oh no, oh no, come on. Yeah, oh, woo, lucky me. Looks like uh, Toadette got hit by a green show right at the end, so I get the snag third place. I actually think that I might have not have gotten the, the five grand stars I need. It'll depend on how low that is. 
Uh, oh, exactly the amount we needed. Thank you, Mario Kart, for looking out for me today. I just, I made a lot of mistakes there. And this is Shy Guy Bazaar 2 T, which we've also raced. So there was not a single new ra kart track thing. There's not a single new version of a track in today's episode so far. That's sort of a bit of a bummer. That's something I'm noticing too, though. While the requirements have been easier in this tour, I've also noticed that there's a whole lack of fresh tracks. I thought there was gonna be, you know, an equal amount of new tracks, or maybe just no n old tracks, like we wouldn't see any more of New York tourist tracks, only new Tokyo tour tracks, but definitely not the case. That has me a bit starving for variety, I guess. I mean, these are great tracks, and the, and the different tricks in reverse versions does sp spruce it up a bit. But you know, how many times have we raced on Shy Guy Bazaar <laughs> and its variations, you know? Quite a lot at this point. So it can get a little tired, ouch. Um, there we go, I need to catch up majorly this time. I definitely need to be able to reach the required score. I'm not gonna let that get by me. Okay, well we get some green shells and stuff. For fifth place, that's actually not that great. Okay, well I tried to hit him. <laughs> it's not gonna work very well if he's in frenzy. Who is that, is that another Hakama Mario? You bet it is, now he's in first place, I'm trying to catch up to him. I'm all to the side right now. There we go. Thank you. Whoa, going way down here. Ooh, double red shell. One of those has to hit him, thank you very much. Okay, that could have gone better in terms of like getting coins and stuff, but we made it work. So we're in first place, we crossed the finish line in first place, that was some good points too. Nice, okay. And now we get a frenzy, we get the coin frenzy. I probably shouldn't have gone up here though because I feel like there's less tricks. I don't know. But we seem to make it work pretty well. Okay, more coins means more combo. Oh gosh, but I messed up that drift pretty badly. So there goes our combo, that's okay. As long as we can stay in the lead now and get a first place finish, I think we'll get plenty enough of a score to get our grand stars. There we go, there we go, thank you. Oh no, the game sort of slowed down there for a second. Couldn't handle all the action. Ah, once again, I missed those coins. I don't know why I can't get those. Anyways, we are very clearly in the lead for our final stretch, and that means we're over 10,000 points, over 11,000 again. <laughs> That's really good. Every time I think I'm over 10,000, I get over 11. Very nice, and that is another first place finish, which means we're at 56.5% for that one thing. Okay, so that's actually not bad. That is uh, quite a lot more than what we needed. So now we got the challenge, which is break item boxes. Now we've done this kind of thing before, but I don't think we've done it on this track, so this should be fun. So let's hope for the best. We're doing it as Wendy Koopa, which is good, because it's the Wendy Koopa Cup. Okay, so um, I guess I'm missing out on the mushroom. The angling for that was weird. But that's okay, I should be fine actually to get this. I can only hope. Uh, there we go. Now make sure to get this mushroom. So here's a coin waiting on top of this ramp over the pipe, very cool. Come on now, I can get it, I can get it. Nice. This gets a little worrisome that I might not be able to line this up. I feel like there are just aren't many item boxes here. Because it's not about hitting the coins, it's about hitting the item boxes. And I feel like I've been a little confused about that, but I just gotta keep that in mind. Ooh, we got a superstar power over there. Multiple of them, actually. Just don't hit the Goomba along the way. That is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. Um, Wow, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. Can I get this last one? I can, and then maybe yeah, I got all three of those. 19 out of five. Would that be enough? I think so. That was really cool though. I like that one. Obviously, it's not really possible to get them all, but we got 15, or we got more than 15. Definitely, you could have gotten like 20, maybe even 25 there. All right, so that cup is technically completed along with it. As you can see, we got a special offer. I don't need the special offer. Uh, we should get a present. It's going to be three rubies, three tickets. Let's just let it uh, show us. So there's three rubies right there, three driver points up, 300 coins, 
and five item tickets. So 300 coins is a pretty big one there. So next episode, we will be tackling the Wario Cup, as you can see here, which we just unlocked. But we're not quite done. Don't think we're done yet. We gotta do every track in 200 CC. I might as well t try DK. I don't think I've raced him at all. So I gotta give him a chance. There we go. 200 CC with Donkey Kong. This should be fun. <laughs> and we still have the Banana Boy badge. I'm never changing the badge. It is always going to be Banana Boy. Because why wouldn't it be? <laughs> All right. You ready for this, DK? All right, well, he seems pretty excited. I mean, maybe at some point we've raced as DK, but not nearly enough. Like, barely at all. Like, maybe once or twice. I'll throw that red shell back. That was probably a mistake. I should probably have an item out to protect me. But for right now, I'm just trying to get ahead of Bowser. Oh, boy. Okay, ready for this, Bowser? No, you're not. Okay, very nice. Grab these coins however I can. Oh, combo just barely ended, though. I mean, I'm not even looking for a top score because I, I really don't need it. Oh, okay, mushroom. I have the red shell. I don't know if I quite need it at the moment. It looks like it's gone now. I don't know what hit it, but something did. Okay, well that sort of messed up my drift or my glide a little bit. Not what I was intending. Come on. Oh, here we go. Maybe one of these will hit her. Is it Wendy in front of us? I think it might be Wendy in front of us. Oh, I finally did hit her with that green shell. That was just pure chance, pure luck, but it was awesome. There we go, come on, keep gliding, keep gliding. And let's get to this next glide section. Awesome, not what I wanted, I was trying to cut down. Didn't quite work out the way I had envisioned. Oh, but I hit somebody with it, and a mega banana frenzy. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, throw these out as much as I can. There's a lot of them, and everybody is running into them. Wow, that was great. Oh gosh, are we gonna glide off right off the side? I guess we will. <laughs> Sorry, DK. <laughs> so our score there, what was it? I don't even know, towards the end it must have gotten pretty crazy. Over 60% for level 16. And we are at 11,378. That is our newest uh, high score, I think. So that's awesome. Well, actually, no, it wasn't. It was 100 points below. Anyways, next up, we got Chaco Island 2. I gotta do better this time. Gotta do way better. Just gonna try my best to... um to just get closer to a higher score because before we got exactly what we needed, which is an amazing coincidence, but too close for my tastes. So let's try to redeem ourselves this time. I mean, that'll be harder to do on 200cc. I swear this cart has better turning than some of the others. And that's sort of weird that the cards have different stats if it doesn't tell you. Like, I mean, obviously some of them have other bonuses. I missed a glide again. Um, you know, like having better, like, you know, jump boost speed or go faster on boost panels, but not like actual turning and handling stats. So that's weird if that really is the case. Because I swear I make turns that I don't normally make, even at 200cc with this cart. And once again, I'm missing the glider. I say that I make turns I don't normally make, but it's true, it's true. Some of these sharper turns I can actually handle. Whoa, now we're going fast. Come on, come on. That's it, and that's the win. So really still not that much of a wild score, but it is higher. It's five, six, seven, nine, seven. So that's like about like what, two, 300 higher? Something like that. Okay, well, bonus points for everything. See, it's 200 points higher than before. So Shy Guy Bazaar T at 200 CC. Let's try it out. Got some high level stuff here. So yeah, I'm sorry for all the quick episodes, but it's just sort of how it is at this stage of the game, I suppose, getting through the cups. Okay, so for this one, 1,061 is our base score. There we go. So I, I probably shouldn't go up this way, but the, the game sort of forces you if you hit that ramp. I mean, I could use the coin thing here and, and be able to take most of the coins for myself if I was up there still. Oh well. There we go, there we go, come on. Grab more coins. There's a lot of them on the side of the track now because of me. Pretty sure I was just littering with coins. That's not good, littering is never good. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Oh boy. 
So I'm gonna throw that out. Oh, my boost is over, my combo is done. So I might as well save this for when I'm closer to the item box. Just like that. That wasn't too bad. Throw the red shell out. Did that not even like go for you? And that went into the, the, the shortcut area. That was bizarre. Okay, I'm getting hit by a blooper. I get two coins and a red shell. Still not able to hit him. Okay. Well, if I get second place, that won't be too bad. Even if it's not exactly what I was hoping for. Well, let's not give up quite yet. Oh, I missed the item, really? That's not fair. So that was like my one chance to get him and I wasn't able to because the game just didn't give me an item. Oh well. I tried. Second place is still good. Was able to get over 10,000, so that's that's nice. All right, we did it. So that is all the tracks I wanted to play for today's episode. Still a lot of fun, still no lightning. The game just won't give it to me. <laughs> But hopefully, we still have a couple more cups to tackle. Hopefully in those upcoming cups, we'll be able to get all the lightning bolts we need. Um, uh, since I haven't checked it out, I don't think so. There's a brand new update. Well, that came out a couple days ago. I don't know if I've gone over this. Since I have the extra time, I might as well take a look. Um, yeah, the badge list and everything, so we have gone over that one. Even though there was a new update this morning, it's like the 21st as of recording this. But as you can see, there is a new tour preview. It's the Halloween tour. Got this cool pose of Luigi. Uh, and that's all it really says. I was, I was hoping it would show the spotlight carts and drivers and stuff, because I want to imagine Luigi would be a spotlight character. That just would want to be cool. Um, but as you can see, when the current tour ends, in its tour gifts and the spotlight drivers, carts, and gliders will no longer be available. Uh, but they might reappear in future pipes. We gotta hope for that. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Kart Tour. Before you go, be sure to comment Wendy Zebra so you have watched at the end of the you are a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.